Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a software developer, then you must have heard about this uh, AI code editor, which is getting a lot of hype. That is called the code editor. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about its alternative that will be an open source and currently it's under development. But before moving to that, uh, let's talk a bit about what Cursor is and what features it provides. So this is how this Cursor AI actually looks like. You can ask about this piece of the code using uh, instruction and then also you can talk about like your code base. So these are the features that this Cursor AI provides, but actually it's uh, paid and it's not free. Now coming to the point uh, which is a uh, void editor. So this is an open source AI code editor and it says that it's Cursor alternative and you can write code with best AI tools, retain full control of your data and access powerful AI feature. But actually it's under development now and uh, you can get early access by adding yourself into the waitlist. But if you go and look into the uh, GitHub repo, here in the uh, wide GitHub repo, we can see that uh, it's having 3.8k stars. And also here we can see that uh, wide is a fork of the VS Code repository, like it's based on uh, VS Code, similar to what Cursor is. So if you look into the inside of this repository on GitHub, as I said earlier, it is open source. We have contributors who are are developing this application. There's also this uh, project board. Yeah, so uh, it says like if you are a uh, open source contributor and like you want to contribute into the development of uh, wide, then uh, this is the best place to be. These are the different tasks uh, related to the project that has been uh, listed here. And also if we look into the uh, pull requests like a uh, lots of pull requests are going on currently on this repository and uh, if you look into this one like uh, from the developer perspective you can go and try to understand what exactly is happening if you're open source contributor or developer who is looking forward to contribute into such project then i will say it is a pretty good project uh, you can go through the uh, repository i will share in the description and then uh, check out the pull request issues and also the project uh, board that showed earlier. I'm looking forward to how exactly this white Kaza AI will come in the future and it will be good to have a Kaza AI alternative which is free and open source. Do put your thoughts and comments related to the code editors and AI and like everything that's going on in the industry. That's all for this video and we'll see you in our next video.